right, let's start with hair care because there's only one item. First thing is this Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco. Featured it in a haul a few months back and I'm really liking it. I prefer it to the Tresemme one purely because I don't feel like it weighs my hair down as much. They're about the same price point, I think they're about £6 each, so if you can't make up your mind, I prefer this one. If the other one was cheaper, I'd say that, but because they're the same price, this is a little, little bit better. Okay, so on to face beauty stuff. So the first thing is a foundation. I hope I haven't mentioned this before. It's the Bourjois Happy Life Foundation. I use this pretty much every day since the day I got it. And it's just as good as NARS, Sheer Glow, um, the Chanel foundations. I believe Chanel also make the Bourjois foundation, so that's why I think the quality is really good. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm really, really liking this foundation. If you have any other good recommendations for drugstore foundations that have a dewy kind of finish, comment down below and let me know. And I have it in the shade number 53, which is like a perfect match for me. Really like this. To accompany that this month, I've been loving the MAC Fix Plus. This works really, really well with that um, Miracle, the Real Techniques Miracle Sponge or Beauty Blender. It looks so flawless with them two together. However, the only thing is you're using an extra product, so that's more money. I think the MAC Fix Plus has like a lot of benefits for your skin, like lots of ingredients that benefit the skin. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm nearly running out. If you know of any high street alternatives to this, then let me know, that would be really, really cool. And high street alternative to MAC Fix Plus. Been wearing a bold lip this month quite a lot, and it's this fuchsia hot pink colour by Illamasqua called Eurydice. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Matte finish, super neon pink bright colour. Has a really, really drying formula. I know that it's matte, but someone needs to invent a non drying matte lipstick. You can send a man to the moon, but we can't come up with a non-drying matte lipstick. Next is a nail colour. It's this one by Barry M called Elderberry number 411. It's a really nice sort of dusky, bluey grey colour. I think it's a bit of a dupe for Essie's Maximilian. But it's such a pretty colour, I just couldn't resist it. So that's why it's in my favourites. So next up is a song. Um, so this much, just getting it up on my phone for you guys, I hope I've said this right, Vic Mensa, and it's called Down On My Luck, and I just, I don't know, it's not something I normally like, but I like his voice, and it's just like, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm just going to play it. It's his voice. When I get down on my luck, I buy my eyes in Hollywood, I buy my eyes in Hollywood, they say, what you know, who you know, you need to know someone or no, no more. Yeah, and that was Vic Mensa. Down on my luck. Really like that song. When I get down, I'm next. I'm so excited to do this segment. It's my month of the month. It's the Cornetto. What can I say? If you've never tried one, what? Why? <laughs> My favourite is mint, however, pack or four of these in Sainsbury's for a pound. One pound for four. I've been eating like three a day. What? Minimum. Right. So you've got like, bits of chocolate and nut at the top with a bit of ice cream which is like heavenly as it is and then you get to the cone and it's not just a cone because there's chocolate in the middle and then and then as soon as you think it's all about to just be over BAM there's just like a chocolate bit right at the bottom just solid chocolate whoever invented these needs a promotion in life oh I love them so much now I'm gonna stop recording this so I can finish eating this so Favorites. It's not very long, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it. 
thumbs up if you did, subscribe if you did, and stay tuned for more. Peace! Sky, however, you're a little. <laughs>